The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. We serve all of Illinois, and we're also happy to meet with you and provide most legal services virtually without requiring you to leave your home. Enjoy the video. Hi, this is Chelsea Janareth with O'Flaherty Law, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to fill out a transfer on death instrument revocation. If you have not yet visited our video on how to fill out a transfer on death instrument, please see our other video on that. Uh, this form is from the Illinois Legal Aid website, and what you fill out may look slightly different depending on where you receive it from, but it should contain about the same basic information. As always, this video is not legal advice, it does not establish an attorney-client relationship, and is for educational purposes only. A transfer on death instrument is like a deed that doesn't, affect, doesn't take effect until you die. You can use it so that you don't have to put your house in a will, which will make things easier on your loved ones down the line. This is because using a TODI can avoid the need to go to court to divide up your property you leave behind. You can cancel your TODI at any time. To cancel the TODI, you have to fill out this document with the Recorder of Deeds office that states you revoke your TODI. You must sign this revocation in front of two witnesses, just like you did with the TODI instrument. So to begin, whoever is preparing this document will want to put their name and address here. And then the owner's name of the property and address that the taxes go to will want to put their information here. The recorder will stamp here. So this document will state that the transfer of death instrument revocation will be made on whatever date you are filing this revocation and by who, which should be the owner of the property and which city and county of the state of Illinois that you are revoking it in. Um, it should be wherever you recorded it in the first place. Um, and then state which county the property is located in you will need the legal description of the property, which can be found by going to the office of your county recorder of deeds or by searching for your deed on their website. You should have the legal description on your TODI already, but if you do not have a copy of that, you are able to look that up online. You will also need the PIN or the property identification number. This can also be obtained from your county clerk's office, assessor's office, and sometime, sometimes on the county's website. You should also have this information on your TODI already, um, and then you will want to outline the property address. Then you will want to state that the owner is of competent mind and capacity uh, to revoke the transfer on death instrument which was recorded on this day and then your TODI should have a document number and then you will want to fill out uh, which office of the county recorder you filed that in. Here the um, owner's name and then you will want two witnesses and a notary to either confirm your signature in front of or you will want to sign in front of them. Um, so be sure you have the two witnesses and their address and then a notary public. Usually you can find a notary at a bank, um, a courthouse, or there are some private people that do notary as well. I think that is all for this document. Um, to learn more about TODIs, you can visit our page linked below. Um, as stated, we do have a, an additional video which explains how to fill out a TODI. So if you found this video before finding that video and you want to fill out a TODI, feel free to go to our website to find that video. Um, be sure you leave any questions you have in the comment sec section and subscribe for more legal content daily. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed the video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. 
If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. Most consultations are free and all can be conducted remotely if you'd like. Please email us, book online, or call us at 630-324-6666. We have many locations for your convenience and we serve all of Illinois. So thanks again for watching.